Right, we're going to uh, adjust the water level on a Encore Auto. You can see there's not enough water going into the cup. So it's quite a simple process. Uh, you open the door. Behind the door down here, you'll see a switch. You need to put, flip the red switch up to set. And it'll make that sound. Then we get into the programming. The top three buttons will do all the programming. So first of all, we're gonna press the third button down which uh, is saying that's to do with the cache, cache system. Program one, this is uh, if you want to uh, put the prices in. So if I wanted to, to do it as um, 21p for the drinks or 20, say 30, do that. And the third one is enter. Uh, okay, that's discount, uh, price discount. That's if you uh, had a, a, a certain time of day when you're gonna have a price discount, but I'll just put it the same didn't work. Uh, this is sugars, so this is how many sugar shots you can have. So you can have three shots per drink or one shot. Most people leave it as two, as you can potentially use too much sugar or make a mess. Then you go on to cold, this machine doesn't have cold water on it, so you go past that. Then you get to hot one. At the moment it's on timed, and the time is 5.1 seconds or um, thereabouts. So because I want more water in my cup, what I shall do is I'll up it to say an extra half a second. So say 5.5, 5.6, do okay. Let's go through, that's to do the coins. And LEDs, so that setting you can either have other LEDs static or flashing. But uh, I personally prefer them static. So just press the button again and do done. And we take that switch back down to run, and then we'll just try it again. So, let me just cut that out. Let's make a drink. Just put one under there and put hot water. And there we go, you've got an increased cup level. But if uh, that's too high when you've got the, the proper cups in there and the ingredient in it, then just drop that time setting down a little bit. Okay.